Hi there, and welcome to this quick tip tutorial how to change page size in InDesign. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned designer, changing page sizes is something that will optimize your workflow. Different page sizes are used mainly in editorial design, but these tools are also helpful when designing a brochure with more than four panels, book jackets, and many more. In this quick tip, we will take a look at three different ways to resize a page. You can resize the whole document, multiple selective pages, or only one page. It really depends on the project you're working on. All you need for this tutorial is to download the exercise file. The link will be in the description below. And when you're ready, we can dive in. All right, we can start with changing a page size with the document setup option. You should use this technique if you're planning on resizing all the pages on your document and you wish to resize the elements as well. I have my exercise file open here and we will start working with pages one and two. Head over to File on the menu bar and select Document Setup. On this new window, we have various options we can change, starting with page numbers, sizes, margins, and bleed and slug. Let's check the preview box so we can see the changes live. Let's head over to Page Size, and here on the drop-down menu, we have some default sizes, but we'll change the width to 8 inches and the height to 6, and we can see the changes already happening. Let's move this out of the way. And you can see all the pages have already changed, but none of the elements have moved. So we can click OK if we're happy with that. If you would like the elements to resize with the page, click on Adjust Layout. On this option window, you can also find options to auto adjust the margins to the page size or to leave it to maintain the original setting. You can change the bleed. This setting won't expand like the elements. And then we have a very useful option, which is the Adjust Font Size setting. You can allow the font to resize along with the page or to keep it the same size. So let's head over to width and change that to 8 inches and the height to 6. Check the adjust font size and click OK. We can see what it looks like. So the page has expanded here on the ruler. We can see to 8 inches and 6 all of the pages and so has the font. So let's try what it looks like without adjusting the font. So file document setup, adjust layout. And this time, let's not check the font size. Let's change the width and the height. Let's leave that unchecked and click OK. And we can see that the type hasn't expanded, only the page. Press Command Z so we can go back to the original file. And let's work on the second way of changing a page size. Head over to the Pages panel and click on the Edit Page Size button at the bottom of the panel. And click on Custom. On the custom page size option window, you will be able to find preview sizes you've used that you can select from. Uh, here we don't have any, so we can create our own. And let's name this project 1, set the width to 8 inches, and the height to 6, and click on Add. Click on the project 1 again, and click OK. And we can see here that only one of the pages has changed. And this will only be reflected on the actual layout, not on the pages panel. So the difference between the first technique and the second technique is that the elements won't resize with the second technique. Now let's get into the third way of changing page sizes, and we will focus on pages 3 to 5. Let's head over to the tool panel and select the page tool, or shift P, and let's take a look at the control bar. On the very left, we have the reference point buttons the X and Y page location, the width and height settings, the default page sizes, and here's project one that we just created, the orientation buttons. On the second compartment, we have the liquid page rule options, and these options will give you the flexibility to design multiple page sizes and orientations. On the last compartment, you will find the checkboxes for objects move with page, and this will readjust the elements on the page as you resize it. You will also find show master page overlay to show the master page outline on the page. So let's work on these last three pages. And we'll try to create a gatefold uh, brochure that opens from the center. Using the page tool, select the exercise gatefold one, head over to the control bar and select the top right reference point. This means that the page will be held from this point and it will shrink from the opposite side. Head over to width and change that to 3 inches since we want the center fold to open from the center. Let's press V to select the selection tool 
And here we can see that the page has changed size, but not the elements. The elements are still the same. Now let's select the exercise gatefold 3 page, head over to the control bar and select the top left reference point. Before we change the size, let's change the liquid page rule. So leave these two uh, checkboxes empty and select liquid page rule scale, set the width to 3 inches and you will notice that the element has resized with the page. And now you've got a gatefold brochure. So these are the three ways that you can use to change page sizes depending on what you're working on. This is a great tool to have in your back pocket when it comes to designing uh, brochures that have more than four panels, book jackets, and magazines. Many design templates come in specific sizes, so this is a great tutorial you can use to change the sizes while keeping the same style. And there you have it. This is how to change page size in InDesign. I hope this tip helps you out. And from all of us at Envato Tuts Plus, thank you for watching.